Today, we are remembering the life of Guy Speranza. Guy was the original vocalist for the New York City band Riot from 1975 until 1981. In that brief period, Guy sung on the first three studio albums for Riot, which I have to say is my favorite period for Riot. And that would be Rock City, the debut album in 1977, with standouts Rock City, Warrior, Desperation, and Tokyo Rose. Then Narita in 1979. I'm a big fan of Road Racing, 49er, and Born to be Wild. And the final album for Guy's Run with Riot, the epic Fire Down Under in 1981 with such badass classic tracks as Swords and Tequila, Outlaw, Fire Down Under, and Run For Your Life. Guy is also on the live album simply titled Riot Live. This disc is taken from two concerts in London in 1980, but the album wasn't released until years later in 1989. How's this for street cred? Guy Speranza fronted Riot at the very first Monsters of Rock show ever in England at the Castle Donington on August 18, 1980. That inaugural Monsters of Rock concert featured the headliner, Rainbow, plus Judas Priest, The Scorpions, April Wine, and Saxon. Guy's last performance with Riot was on December 22, 1981, with Riot opening at a sold-out show for Rush on the Moving Pictures Tour at the Meadowlands Arena in New Jersey. Guy's decision to say goodbye to a life in music just as Riot was beginning to hit it big is still in many ways a real head-scratcher. There have been several comments made by various band members and other insiders over the years, and you know what? Maybe a mix of all of those things are true. Some of those were that Guy wanted to get married and his fiancée did not like the rock and roll lifestyle. Another was that Guy was a private person and didn't really enjoy being the front man of a rock band in leather pants and that he just wasn't comfortable doing it any longer. There was also talk of religious convictions and another that Guy was simply not making any money or at least not making enough money to support a life with a future wife and possibly children. All we know for sure is that Guy called it quits after the tour with Rush and took up a regular day job with a pest control company in Orlando, Florida. About six months later in 1982, Scott Ian offered Guy the job of fronting Anthrax, but Guy again declined and said that he was done with music. And true to his words, Guy was never active in music again. Sadly, Guy Spranza passed away on November 8, 2003, at the age of 47 from pancreatic cancer. Guy's wife believes that the cancer was caused by the chemicals that he had worked with for over 20 years as a pest exterminator. Looking back, I'm just so thankful that I was lucky enough to see Riot in concert in 1980. Many of you know that my first concert was Black Sabbath on the Heaven and Hell tour with Riot opening that show. So technically, that makes Riot the first band that I ever saw live. I can tell you that from that night on, Riot's music has been a part of my life, and they always will be. Rest in peace, guy. Thanks for the music and memories.